Welcome everyone. Today we will explore one of the key methods for connecting Power BI to Razor's Edge, which is implementing a custom connector within Power BI desktop. During the webinar, I walked through some approaches for extracting data from RE and bringing it into your Power BI dashboard and data model. Uh, as I said, this is one of the methods you can get your data out of RE. There are several, several approaches and implementing custom connector is one of them, which has its pros and cons I explained inside the webinar. First, you need to go to Blackbot developer account. You need to have a developer account in Blackbot. If you don't, please sign up and have your, uh, have your developer account. Then you sign in to your developer account, which is developer.blackbot.com. First, you need to go to developer account, my subs uh, sorry, my applications, and register an application which is used for calling the Sky API and implementing the custom connector. So you need a new application, which is the application name is whatever you want. We call it Power BI uh, test connector. Application details is for testing and implementing the custom connector inside Power BI desk. Don't don't forget, sorry, don't forget the custom connector is for Power BI desktop, and Power BI desktop only runs on Windows machines. Which teams own it, not owned by any team. The publisher is Sentinel. Your website URL. And you save it. Now you have your application here, our BI test connector. What you need is application ID, your client secret. And in your subscriptions, you need your primary access key or subscription key. We need these three strings to put inside the custom connector. Where is the custom connector code? If you go to github.com slash blackboard slash Power BI connector, you have uh, this uh, repository, which is developed by Blackbot, and you just need to click on code and download zip. This is your zip file, which includes the code and all technical things which will be used by Power BI Desktop to be able to connect to Razor's Edge. So, First, you need to unzip your file. So you go to, uh, let me have another folder. So first you need to unzip this folder, subscribe them. This is your, everything you need here, all files you need inside the black box folder. You have three text files, client ID, client secret, and subscription key, which will be used by your application. So you open your client ID, txt file, you go to my applications, Power BI has connector. So this is your client ID. You copy your client ID, put it here, and save it. The other file 
is client secret. Again, you open your client secret, you copy your client secret, paste it here and save it. And the last file is your subscription key TXT file. For this one, you need to go to your developer account, my subscriptions. This is not something you need to add like the application we just added. When you sign up, and as soon as you have your developer account, you have a subscription key. So it's here. Inside developer account, my subscriptions. You have a primary key. You just copy this one and paste it into your subscription key TXD file and save it. And this way, you have all of your files updated. Let's check again, client ID, client secret, client and subscription. Okay. Now, what you need to do is to just select all of these files inside the zip file that we extracted. And after we just put subscription, client, client ID, client secret, right and subscription key select them all and again compress them into a zip file and you can call it whatever you want like power bi test connect next step is to put it inside power bi desktop custom connectors folder this folder is always inside your documents folder. So you go to your documents. You probably have a Power BI desktop like this one here. If you don't, you create one. And the naming convention is very important. It should be Power space BI space desktop. And for case like uppercase p power bi desktop exactly like this one inside power bi desktop you need to add a new folder the name of the folder should be custom exactly like this please be careful about the extra spaces custom space connectors C. This is very important. Naming convention is very important. Inside the custom connector, you just need to copy that file that you just created. Power BI test connector that zip. Copy this file and put it inside your custom connector folder. Before going to the next step, rename this file and remove the zip, replace it with MEZ. So we are changing the file extension. Are you sure you wanna change it? Yes. And that's it. The next step is uh, actually going to your Razor's Edge NXT. Going to your marketplace, manage and connecting your application, the one that you created into your Razor's Edge NXT environment. So again, you go to developer account, my applications, Power BI test connector, and this is your application ID. This is your application ID or client ID. You copy this application ID and then paste it here into your environment. It says, the application hasn't been reviewed by Blackbot. It's okay. This application is not compatible 
video platform, oh, it doesn't have any data tags. Before going to that next step, we need to do two things. First, we need to add a redirect URI. So you edit on redirect URIs. And uh, the URI that you need to paste here in this field is uh, HTTP double slash auth.powerbi.com we use auth redirect HTML. It should be exactly this. You save it here. And then you go to scopes, these scopes, and give access to your application. Because you're just going to get data out of RE, you need limited data access to Razor's Edge NXT or financial, whatever education. We are talking about Razor's Edge NXT. And we need to read information only. This is that part I explained that you need to register an application that application manages your permission and scopes. This is your application and scope. You need limited data access to Razor's Edge NXT, and you need only read access. You save it, and again, you copy your application ID, go to Marketplace, connect app, application ID, and you connect. Now it says limited data access. You need to read Razor's Edge NXT only. You connect. Okay. Then the next step is to go to other apps. You can see your Power BI test connector here listed. Publisher is Sentinel. Data added and access is limited. Now we're good. Now what we need to do is to let me delete this old monitor. Open your Power BI desktop. So you want to get your information out of RE and feed it into your Power BI data model. You need to click on to get data and more, then type black bot here. You have your custom connector, as you can see listed here, black bot, beta, custom. You connect. And now you can see your database schema here. As I explained in the webinar, you, you don't have access to all endpoints using the custom connector. For example, you can add your fun custom fields using the custom connector, but you have almost all information you need to develop a, a dashboard in Power BI. You have your constituent information. Oh, this is very important. Because I already had this custom connector installed on my machine, it didn't prompt me to enter my username and password. But before you be able to see this as database schema, it prompts you to sign into Blackbot developer account, Blackbot actually portal. So you sign in. As you can see, this is Blackbot authorization server. You put your email. password and you probably need to give it your code 
Okay. Now you can see your Power BI test connector, the application we just created. We want to connect your organization and your environment, and we just authorize this access. When you log in, now you can see all of this information here. You can see constituent, constituent code, constituent action, fundraiser addresses, code types, email. So you can have access to all information in constituent endpoints and fundraising, campaign fund and appeal packages, gift tables, custom fields, payment receipts, soft credits. As I said, you, you have access to almost everything you need to develop a dashboard and a regular report. So by just selecting each of them that you need, you load them into your Power BI mode data model and you can develop your dashboard. So this is the process you need to take to implement your custom connector, get your information out of RE, feed it into your Power BI desktop and create your dashboards. Thanks.